Hi, so this is part two, trying to show my uh, XFM editor. So here we have an XFM, which is kind of important to do this experiment. What I've also got is an ESI M4 UEX, which is an 8-port MIDI interface. Um, it's quite clever in that it can switch its ports automatically between input and output. So I just plug two cables into ports one and two, plug them into the input and output of um, XFM, and so I should now be able to connect to those. So over on the PC, um, let me just get rid of that for the now. So uh, just like I've done before, if I run the editor now, I should be able to select setup here, and I should be able to open one of the ports as input, and one of the ports as output. And let's see if this actually works. So if I go for the XFM, we'll push uh, Fortune Edit to put it into edit mode. Uh, pick a, let's just go for anything, pick that and edit it. It's now switched into edit mode, so it's now that patch we're editing. I think it's called GLAS or something. So if I now go MIDI export, as I push OK, over here, I'm about to push OK now, and there, that GLS patch has been loaded in here. So the first thing you can do is uh, use this root window. Oh, it's quite a complex patch. Okay, oh, this is good news. So let's see what it sounds like at the moment. Oh, blimey. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Um, so let's try changing something about this. So, uh, like the OP, oh, OP4 has got a times 30 ratio. Um, and let's see, OP1 has got uh, times 1. So let's just try changing those. So I'm going to change the OP1 ratio up a bit. And the, this ratio down a bit. Hopefully it's going to make an audio difference, and then I'm going to send that patch over here. That rewrote the name of the patch to show it's just received an update, and now. Okay, um, let's do something else. Let's give this one uh, lots of feedback. So, if we go to the root diagram again. Um, that feedback at minus 63 has turned it into a square wave so that's hopefully had uh, an effect on the sound so if I now go send it's received the patch again Whoa. ah oh right that sound coming in at the end is because oh it's because of this here so there's a long time when it doesn't, and then it finally comes in at the end. So, um, in fact, let's just take that down. Oh, didn't mean to take it down that much. Let's just take it to there. Okay, let's see what happens when I send that. Patch received. That's not much affected, I think, also. It's this one here that's having some effect on it. So let's really take that release time light off and then send an update. Actually, let's do this the other way around. So what I'm going to do is just, I'll init this patch. So it's gone back to TPO1. In fact, I'll just transmit that as it is. So I send that. This is now switched to TPO1 and it should be... Just the default patch, so let's turn up the ratio on operator 2 and feed it into operator 1 and just check how that looks on the diagram. Uh, there it is. So I've fed that into there, and it's ratio 10. So now if I send that over. Oh yeah, that had a dramatic effect. Um, let's see what else can we do. Let's 
send a very low fixed frequency from this operator. So let's actually bring that right down. Um, oh, down. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm just doing, going to do it. Mouse clicks. No, mouse clicks down. There, 225 hertz, okay. Um, let's put the... Uh, let's have that, so that's operator 3 going into here, so I'm going to increase that, and then send that. Oh yeah. So, uh, well, I think that hopefully gives a general overview. Um, so it's talking between the two, you can do all the editing over here, admittedly uh, at the moment, I'm having to use this manual send button. Um, I'm thinking about automating that, or at least giving the option to automate it, so that as you change things in the editor, it automatically sends the update. But maybe you don't actually want that to happen because it could destroy something you've got in the XFM. So that's why I might make it optional. Um, but that will do for now.